Hi, it's Renee with Benchmark. These are the five reasons surveyors are upgrading their gear because it's costing them too much time and money. So the number one reason, the first reason come to mind on why you might want to consider upgrading your RTK is if you're running legacy equipment. If your equipment has gone end of life or the manufacturer has gone end of support or you just simply can't get service or support from your current supplier because it's just too old, you may want to consider upgrading. Or if your crews are coming back in from the field and they are coming in with little or no data more often than not, that's a real sign that your equipment is costing you a lot of money. So one of the things to keep be mindful about if you're running older equipment is what generation of RTK you're currently running. So we're, we're currently on seventh generation RTK. If you're on four or three or two even, we have a lot of people calling up on second generation RTK. That equipment, if you're not a weekend warrior doing work on the weekends and you're trying to do this full time, this equipment is costing you money. Some of the older generation of RTK that's being run out there is costing you money because it simply doesn't see enough satellites that are in orbit. So when you're considering upgrading your equipment, the older equipment, the older generations are costing you money. And these are the reasons why you may not have access to a modern tilt sensor that saves you money. You don't have to level your pole. Your older equipment does not see the new signals in orbit. There are four constellations now and they generate, some of these constellations generate five different frequencies, signals, your older equipment if it doesn't see this, it's costing you money. So the second reason that you may want to consider upgrading is that your current equipment is not performing as it was promised to perform to you by your sales supplier. So it may have poor performance, it may have poor accuracy, it may not perform well in different environments, or you're just simply sick of being nickeled and dime and gouge for annual subscription fees, for software, for firmware, and even support. And you're just sick of being mistreated by your supplier. So instead of being, you know, charged for annual subscription fees, you may want to ask your current supplier if they offer a perpetual license on software. That could save you a lot of money in the long run. So if you're a numbers guy, the third reason that you want to consider upgrading is productivity. So let's take a look at the numbers on productivity gains. We can take in this example of 20%, 30%, 40%, and 50% to give you an idea of what your payback is if you upgrade. So in this example, just to simplify things, if we're looking at a charge out rate for 100 bucks an hour, some of you guys charge a lot more than that. We know that, I'm just making it simple. The internal cost for that labor rate is $50 an hour. Say you're billing 2,000 hours a year. Let's take a look at what the productivity gain would be with this new equipment if you were running a 20% to a 50% productivity increase. So here's the formula. So you have 2,000 hours at 20%, you're gonna be saving 400 hours. So you're gonna be working about 1,600 hours. If you multiply that by your cost, internal labor cost of $50, you're saving $20,000 here on equipment. So the payback on, on a 20% productivity gain is probably around 10 months. You'll have the system completely paid off. If you're at a 50% productivity gain, which a lot of people are experiencing on a seventh generation RTK machine, is six months. So this gives you an idea, if you're a numbers guys, what the productivity increase would be and what the return on investment would be looking at the payback. So number four, the fourth reason to consider upgrading is one of my favorites is, is the manufacturer offering or the dealer offering you a huge incentive to upgrade because there's a new model out where you don't have to pay full-blown list price to get the new technology, but you're getting really good value, maybe even extra trading credits for your old equipment. Look for those deals because those deals can save you a lot of money. For example, Benchmark sometimes offers a double trade-in credit. So if your existing equipment is worth, you know, $3,000 per receiver, sometimes you, they offer incentives that are double that depending on the make and model that comes out. Maybe a good idea is to check in with your supplier once or twice a year, even if you're not in the market, 
to see if there's any deals going on. Sometimes they don't advertise those deals for a lot of different reasons. So it's a good idea to check in with your supplier once or twice a year to see if there's any incentives on upgrading being offered just so you don't miss out. Finally, number five, one of the biggest reasons you want to consider upgrading over the last 10 years, one of the biggest improvements in the industry has been the ability to work under canopy. If you have a system that requires you to break out your total station, you may want to consider upgrading because there's RTK technology nowadays, seven generation, that can work with repeatability under canopy and save you a ton of money and time. So there you have it. These are the top five reasons that land surveyors upgrade. If any of these reasons are present with your current situation, give us a call at the number below and we can discuss your current situation. And if you wanna see how the new technology can work this well under canopy, let's check out this next video.